Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take. My name is JC, coming at y'all live from the Rose Garden, man. Listen, I just read an interesting article, right? A messed up article at that. And uh, it's about Ben Zobris. He used to play for the Cubs. He's with the Cubs, you know, when they won the World Series and all of that in 2016. But in 2019, everybody was wondering why he needed to take the season off. Well, he took the season off so he could try to repair his marriage, right? Because he found out that his wife was cheating on him with their pastor and their pre their premarital counselor. This pastor was their premarital counselor. Uh, this pastor officiated the dedication of all three of their children in public. You know, this pastor was running Ben Zobris' uh, charity organization and all of that. And at the same time, this pastor was sleeping with Ben Zobris' wife. Okay? Sleeping with his wife. They both, you know, Ben Zobris, you know, reached out to his pastor. His pastor was trying to help him, you know, because he was suffering from depression and anxiety. And while he was suffering from pre uh, depression and anxiety, his pastor started talking to his wife. And his pastor and the wife started messing around. They bought burner phones and they was having rendezvous, sexual rendezvous, doing all of this shit. You know, meanwhile, Ben Zobra is fighting depression and anxiety and trying to figure out. And the pastor is at the time is counseling him and counseling them you know and it's fucked up so now ben zobris first of all he took the, he took off he took off he took off that 2019 season when he found out now the pastor is married too ben zobris found out that his wife was cheating with the pastor because the pastor's wife found one of those burner phones. They both had those burner phones that they bought on the side that they kept hitting so they could, you know, talk on those and meet up. And the pastor's wife found that phone and then alerted Ben Zobris about what was going on. And that's when Ben Zobris, the professional Cubs player, had to take 2019 season off to figure everything out. And when he took that season off, he lost $8 million. $8 million because, because of it, you know, and trying to figure out that situation. And this pastor, like I said, he a marital counselor, you know. At the same time, he's running Ben Zobris' uh, charity fund, which he, the pastor, was making $35 thousand dollars annually from so he was getting paid ben zobris was paying he he was paying him thirty five thousand dollars for running that charity at the same time ben zobris also paid fifteen thousand dollars to send that pastor on vacation on a pastoral trip to send him and his family on vacation on a pastoral trip as they call it fifteen thousand dollars so Ben Zobras got taken advantage of. Meanwhile, this pastor is banging his wife. Banging his wife. You know, so Ben Zobras, now he's suing the pastor for $6 million for defrauding his charity company. But at the end of the day, his wife, his wife is bogus as hell. His wife is bogus as hell. You know your husband, y'all got three kids together. You know your husband fighting anxiety and depression and going through things. He didn't, you know, help you out because she's supposed to be a Christian singer. You know, she's singing at the Cubs game and shit like that. He put her on. And this is what she did to him. This is what she did to him. You know, and I don't have the best memory, so I took a few notes too. You know? I took a few notes, but yeah, I pretty much covered, I pretty much covered everything. I pretty much covered everything, but it's crazy. It's crazy at the end of the day, because you know what? Female nature is a motherfucker. Let's be honest. Female nature is a motherfucker, but you cannot, 
I don't care if you married, if it's your girlfriend, or if you just, if it's just casual sex. You cannot put your full trust in women. And you cannot put anything past female nature. You cannot put anything past female nature. Look at how Ben Zobris was taken advantage of. Look at how he was taken advantage of by his marital counselor, his friend, their pastor. They also, we are, they, they, they supposed to be Christian. That wasn't very Christian to that pastor. Now was it? Or, 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 or of Ben Zobris' wife. Female nature is a motherfucker, man. Like I be telling y'all, y'all cannot put y'all all into women into females it's okay to love a female and all of that stuff but you have to at the end of the day put yourself first and you cannot put anything past female nature you can't you can't do it you know and and, and listen i you know and this is not a shot at ben zobers i feel bad for him because he was going through some things and he trusted he trusted his pastor he trusted his wife this is the mother of all three of his kids. He trusted her, but look how she ran over him. Look how she ran over him, ran him over. Like he was nothing. Ran him over. Treated him like he was, I mean, like, I mean, like, for real, like, you know. And, and, and she trying to, and now, and now, it, it, it just hit the news set. She trying to sue him. She trying to file a lawsuit to sue him for millions how bitch how how I don't see how he should be even paying you anything not even alimony because it was your fault you the one that cheated and you admitted to it so what you gonna sue him for you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta read up on that to see what the hell, cause I don't know how you gonna sue. What well, you can't be, it can't be a, a character lawsuit. As if he, you know, uh, what, what's it called? I forgot what it's called, but it's something that with the character where, where, where she could be suing him for saying untrue things. But you've already admitted to what you did, which was dirty as hell. It was dirty as hell. You supposed to be a Christian woman though. You can't trust these bitches, man. You cannot trust these bitches. Hey, and, and excuse my language, but man, you cannot trust these bitches, man. Chicks, if they listen, you will get ran over. You gotta put yourself first. And to a certain extent, I think Ben was trying to put himself first. He was trying to put himself first. He got his money. He got two rings, one with the Royals, one with the Cubs. He was putting himself first. He wanted to see his counselor, his dude, his guy. His friend that's running his charitable, his, his 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 charity organization, you know, to letting him know he's fighting depression, anxiety. It happens, and, and and that's what I tell y'all, man. Listen, it's guys who have everything. He got the wife, he got the money, he got the championships, he got the rings, and he's still fighting anxiety and depression. And a lot of that, man, is probably because he didn't put himself first. But he put himself first by trying to get help. By trying to get help for his issues. So I'm saying this to, 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 to say this. I'm saying that to say this to y'all. Listen, put yourself first. Put yourself first. You know, you, listen, try to avoid having those problems. Listen, anxiety happens. Depressions happen. But make sure that you doing the things and taking the steps to get those things fixed. Figure out what it is that's giving you that anxiety. That's giving you that depression. Because obviously being married and having kids and having all that money and all of that, that wasn't helping them. That wasn't helping them. So that wasn't enough. Sometimes things, sometimes having extravagant things, cars, clothes, money, and all of that ain't enough. You got to put yourself first. Everything just can't be about money and materialistic. What's the point of having materialistic things and all the money in the world and the hot bitches and all of that if you yourself in the inside ain't corrected and ain't fixed? 
if you don't love yourself at the end of the day and people got something to say about people that had that that's that's that has self love you know what i'm saying you you listen everybody should love themselves and put themselves first everybody because if you don't you can end up in a situation where you fighting depression you fighting anxiety you don't know what's wrong with you and you wonder what the hell be wrong with listen Fix yourself. Because all this, all these things that you surrounding yourself with, listen, that ain't always the key. That ain't always the key. If you fucked up on the inside, then guess what? You fucked up on the outside as well. None of that shit you have on that outside will matter. It won't matter. It, it won't matter if you don't put yourself first. Work on yourself, man. And listen. Female nature, like I said, is a motherfucker. Put yourself first. Don't be putting these females on a pedestal like that. And stop putting all your trust in women before you end up like Ben Zobras. All right? My name is Jason and Santake. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace. First, I'm gonna get on my grind. Then, second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'm gonna do what I got to eat. Fourth, I'm gonna sew up the streets. Fifth, I'm gonna never quit dropping this heat. So, as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'm gonna get.